And at last and certainly not least, <coughs> let me, you know, show you guys um, this other beauty, which is um, Jewel Her Mermaid Midge. Okay, Midge, it's um, another reroute that I made, uh, a custom just as the Black Barbie, okay, uh, because again, she was much too expensive, so I made my own version. Now, um, Midge, again, not quite as hard to find as the Black Barbie and not quite as expensive, but when I found her, um, I found her, she was in excellent shape. Let me make a sweeping shot here. You know, um, she was complete, you know, she had her shoes. I don't have the shoes right now. I, I, I have them, you know, in my room. But um, she was complete, you know. But, 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 you know, her hair was a ratty mess. You know, it was beyond repair. So I resorted to rerouting her. Now, this Mitch doll is very, very special. Not only because she's a custom that I rerouted myself, but also because um, this head mold, the diva head mold, Okay, always reminded me of an auntie of mine who passed away the year before last. Okay, my auntie Diana. Okay, um, she was very fair skinned. She also had red hair. And uh, well, you know, she was very beautiful and glamorous. And that's how I remember her. And uh, coincidentally, the name Diana, I believe is Greek for goddess. Goddess, okay, um, as diva, because there's a diva head mold. The character is Midge, but there's the diva head mold because the first time that Mattel used this head mold was for diva rockers in 1985. Um, her hair, uh, I'm happy with the style. I love how the bangs came out, you know, but I'm not happy, you know, with, uh, uh, with the color because when I purchased the hair online, um, it, it seemed to be a match to her factory hair color, but it wasn't, it was darker. But that's okay, that's okay, I can live with it, you know. It's, um, it was very expensive I, when I bought actually the hair, and I, was actually, and I wasn't about to return it, because again, that would have just made more expense, at, at my expense, to return the hair and get a closer, you know, screw that. So, you know, I, I can live with it, you know. Uh, the hair is nylon, okay. I honestly don't remember what company I purchased the hair from because, well, uh, nowadays, every day, you know, there seems to be a new company that uh, sells hair for dolls, okay. It's not like in the 80s when I was a child and I began doing my reroutes, um, all I could do is either uh, harvest hair from a donor doll, a Halloween wig, or um, use rope. A lot of people would use rope, you know, to mimic hair for dolls because, well, again, not that many people were doing reroutes back then, you know. Um, so that about wraps it up, okay, with my uh, second part of Jewel Her Mermaid Barbie assortment. There will be part three and four and five, God willing, because I have other custom dolls that I like to show you, even a clone called a mermaid's doll set, okay, uh, where uh, the doll, it's, it's hideous, it's hideous, uh, but the outfit is dead on, uh, a very good uh, copy of the Jewel Her uh, Mermaid Barbie's uh, ensemble. Anyways, um, here's your friend Donnie from Miami, you know, saying goodbye for now, and uh, thanks for watching.